I've been playing guitar probably since I was about 13. I was in middle school and my parents got me a guitar for Christmas or maybe it was Santa Claus. Santa Claus and my parents got me a guitar for Christmas. I was in band, had a great band teacher. He showed me a few things and just kind of stuck with it and ended up getting my bachelor's degree in music and, and guitar. I had worked in the music industry for a long time. Um, the idea kind of came from working in corporate America and constantly saying, I, I think I could do this in a better way. Honestly, it wasn't until I found out about the e-community loan that it, it was something that I thought I could do. I kind of just wanted a local place for people to go and get some regional local products. The coffee is from Kansas City, the alcohol, a lot of it from McCormick over in Weston. Here in Atchison, we have our Till and Door Dreamus, which I love those products. I've always loved mixology and doing bartending type deals, so I kind of wanted that to be a big part of this place too. I came into this spot and, you know, none of these walls were here. You have to figure out exactly where you want walls and where you want this equipment and that equipment. My mom was actually vital in, in that process and telling me, you know, it's gonna be okay. I'm not a visionary, so it's really hard to picture it. Once it started going up, then I'm like, okay, I feel a little bit better now. At its most basic level, the Atchison eCommunity program exists to try and uh, support and grow the culture of entrepreneurship in our community. And the way that it does that is providing gap financing. Sometimes somebody will have an idea, they go to the bank and the bank says, that's not quite enough money down for us or we're not comfortable with that. And what this program can do is it can fill that gap uh, and it can provide financing that actually provides a better interest rate than the bank. Our local banks like it because it gives them more security and, and diversifies their risk. The city likes it because it gives us more small businesses and of course the small business likes it because it allows them to actually start up and grow their business. This loan fund can be used for startups, expansions, and acquisitions. It can be used to hire staff, it can be used to acquire a building, put a new roof on a building that you already own. It can be any kind of business. It could be a, a brewery, it could be a carpet cleaning shop, it could be a residential contractor, it could be a, a video service. This is the fewest restrictions of any small business loan fund that exists anywhere in the country. The hardest part about opening a retail business is having the money for the inventory. And especially in the music industry, most companies have, you know, for lack of a better term, a buy-in where you have to buy a certain amount. To have a store where you could actually have a lot of product on the wall, it's gonna take quite a bit of money to do it. And that's kind of where the e-community loan came in. It was something that they could fund it up front. A lot of big cities play home run style economic development. They go after the big companies, they give them big tax breaks. In our situation, we don't think that's a recipe for success. So we, we've used the baseball analogy. How did the Kansas City Royals win the World Series a couple years ago? They played small ball. It was about on base percentages, about putting the ball in play. So we think that by uh, playing economic development that way here and hitting a bunch of singles and providing this locally controlled gap financing money uh, that we can be successful with economic development that way instead of hoping for the three run homer every time. The loan process itself was so much more simplified than, than anything out there with like the Small Business Administration. They just made it so easy. At the end of it, I was like, that's it? Really? Are you sure you don't need a blood sample or a family tree or something like that? I think even just encouragement helps a ton when you're doing something and you're trying to think, oh, is this gonna work? Is this not gonna work? And having people behind you, it helps a lot. If you don't have reinvestment in your housing stock, in your business community, in infrastructure, in any of those facets of your community, if you don't see reinvestment, if you don't see the new things happening, then you're just falling further behind. I just like that spirit. Why complain about where you live? Let's make it better and let's do things to make it a great place to be.